on one of the sessions, it was around about Maxwell Silver Hammer time. Uh, this did used to, I, I'm sure it did piss people off, and much as I try to not piss people off, obviously if you are, um, I don't know, driving force, overbearing, whatever you want to call it, if you are on the ball, a perfectionist, whatever, it can annoy some people. Because some people can just say, oh, come on, man, hang out, come and just have a drink, let's go and have a drink, you know, let's go have a smoke or something, let's just like, him. which, you know, I did plenty of anyway. I mean, it wasn't as if I was just a relentless crazy. I mean, I did plenty of the other. It just seemed to me when we went, when we had a session booked, it was a cool idea to turn up. You know, but that wasn't always the case. Like Sergeant Pepper, George turned up for his number and, and a couple of other sessions, but not very much else. Because George was supposed to have resented you for always getting on his back. He but... did resent it. But you see, for instance, <clears throat> two examples. One, on, on Abbey Road, I was beginning to get too producery for everyone. George Martin was the actual producer, and I was beginning to sort of be too definite. And George and Ringo turned around and said, oh, look, piss off. We're fed up. Just back off. We're fine. We're grown-ups, and we can do it without you. Fine. So I kind of go, oh, one of those people like me who don't, realize when they're being overbearing. It, it can be very, it can become as a great surprise to actually be told you are overbearing, you know. And so I completely clammed up and sort of backed off and sort of went, right, okay, i burned, back off. They're right, I'm a turd, sit here, fine. Okay, guys, so a day or so went by, two days, and the session started to flag a bit. Ringo eventually turned and said, come on, produce, come on. And so it was like, you couldn't have it both ways, you know, you either had to have me doing what I did, which, let's face it, you know, I hadn't done too bad, or I was going to back off and become paranoid myself, which is what happened. There's a lot of wings was to do with that, that I was just, I'd been told I was so sort of overbearing, that for instance, if the guitarists in wings wanted to play a solo a certain way, I, I wouldn't dare tell them not, that it wasn't going to be. And the other example that really pissed George off, but. I do think I was right. It was when we were making Hey Jude, but you're all the time. You know, I hear it now, you know, it's, good, it's still got the same. Anyway, um, was we were making Hey Jude, and, it, and to me, it, it, it had to have a sparse opening. Hey Jude, 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 Jude. Just have this intimate opening, and it was going to build, and it was going to build, and a kitchen sink, and eventually get to Nirvana, or near Nirvana. Anyway, so. Um, I start off, hey Jude, and George went, -na 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 -na. don't make it bad, -na 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 -na. take a sad song, -na 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 -na. and make it better, -na -na -na. and George was answering every line through the whole song, and I just said, on one of the sessions, it was around about Max.